Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you copy and delete work items. So let's go. Let's go in our ERP project. Let's go in boards. Let's go in backlog. And let me show you, let's say, this one. And let me show you this one. And let's say that I want to copy user story. Uh, don't forget that what I'm going to show you, how, uh, when I'm going to show you how to copy user story, whatever I, uh, uh, what will you see, whatever you'll see here, it also apply to copy epics or features or tasks. So I will open this user story. As you can see, this user story has one parent two children and one predecessor, okay? I will go here and I will say cop uh, copy, okay? I will choose create copy of work item. Now, first I can choose to which project do I want to copy. Do I want to copy in this project, okay? Or to some another project, so to the same project or another project? Do I want to copy this user story as user story? So what kind of work item type will be the new copied item? So if I want to copy user story as a bug, I can do it. As an epic, I can do it. As a feature, etc., etc. But I will stay, stay with, with user story. So I will copy user story to user story, not user story to epic or user story to future feature. And uh, finally, last but not least, I have three, here three checkboxes, three options. Do I want to include existing links? This one, predecessor is existing link. Do I want to include child work items, which are here? Or, and do I want to include existing attachments? So I will close this one. Attachments are here. So if I add some attachments, some document, whatever, pictures, whatever, it will be copied if I choose that. So let's go back here. Let's go to create and copy a work item. And let's say I want existing links and I want in include to include child work, I work items. And when I click on OK, OK, I will get the new user story, OK, ID 65. Remember, new, two new childs, two new, completely new childs, but predecessor is not a new task. So predecessor is a link. So when I copied it, it uh, the new user story just had the same link, task 38. And I will say, I don't want to link it now. And you will see uh, uh, one more thing here in user story. So we are going to cover this task, uh, uh, this user story copied and uh, uh, those new tasks, new child tasks. So once again, when you copy user story and you want to include child or children and uh, also related items, related items are no, not new items. But on the other hand, child, children's, children are new items, new create, those two tasks are new tasks. Parent is the same, so let's go here. First of all, you can have, you can, uh, you can change and you should change your name because obviously this is a user story. So let me see, as a billing officer, I want to for goods for a non-existing customer, for Nenad, for myself. It doesn't make a sense, but who cares? You see that here, in discussion, I have from where is it, co is it copied. So I can leave it. So I will be aware that this user story came from this one. It is copy of this one, but, or I can delete it, what, what, what I'm going to do. So it is also, be aware, that it is also new user story is related to old one. 
So if you are going to copy and you one user story to another, to new, and you don't want to uh, them to be related, you should remove relate, okay? Now I'm going to save it, but I'm not going to close it. See, 65. Let's go to 63. Task 63 and 64. You will see the same thing. Develop invoice for good for not existing customer. This task doesn't have uh, 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 in name copy. So you should be aware it has the same name. So I will say here for Nenat as well. Now, the same thing here, you will see that it is copied from task 47. I will delete it, okay? And it is related to the old task from where, which it was copied. So I'm going to say uh, remove them. And parent is this new user story. Okay, save. Let's go back. Okay. And let's go back. Let's go back here. You see? Okay. Let's go here. And let's say here the same thing for Nenad. I don't want that link. I don't, I am, I am aware that it was copied. I don't want to that, to have that relation. And I will say save and close. Okay. So easy way to copy. Okay. Now, what if I want to delete? For example, let me, let me, sorry, let me first delete the task. So you can see here, I made a mistake. So let's first change that mistake and save it. And now I can go here and I can say delete. Are you sure you want to delete selected work items? You can restore deleted form recycle bin. I want to delete it. But what if I want to delete? You see, I have now 63 and 64, 65. 65 is user story, 63 is uh, task. Okay, ID. I'm going here and I'm going to delete. User story, I'm going to read. I want to delete, yes, I want. You will see that I cannot see now my task. Let's go back to work items. And let's go to the final item. Okay, 63 is here. But since I deleted user story, it doesn't have parent. So basically, it was not shown in the backlog, but it is showing work items. So when you delete user story and it has child, or you delete a feature and he ha it has use the stories as, ch as child, or you delete Epic, you are not going to be able to delete childs. When you copy, you can copy existing related items and childs. You can, you can keep, a uh, better way to say is, if you copy a user story, for example, user story or Epic or feature, you can have copy attachment, copy ch children as a new items, as I showed you, and keep the old items which were related to all old, for example, user story which was copied. But when you delete them, you cannot delete them in hierarchy. Okay? So what you, you cannot do is when you delete the user story, you will not get a choice to delete all children. So you should do it one by one, or let me go back to, uh, to backlog, and let me go here to billing, and let me go to, for example, billing services, and let me copy this one. Okay, I should open it, I will copy it, okay? So I will go to create a copy, include existing links, work items, everything, 
and you will see I have 76, 75, and 74. Now, I am going back because it's already saved okay, in my backlog. I will refresh it. I am going to, sorry, billing, billing services, 76. But I want to delete them all. What can I do? I will just hold the shift key and I will mark all three of them. Right click, delete, delete. And bug. Oh, oh. Now something happens, but if I go back in billing, in billing services, you will see it's gone. But, and last but not least, what if I delete something by mistake? So let's say I will do, you see, I see here have, I have payrolls. I will delete it. I will just delete payrolls. Oh yeah. And I say, oh my God, where is my payroll? I can not restore it here. But I can go to work items. You will see that I will have all my work items here. And here is magic recycle bin. Don't forget, wherever you are and you erase something, if you want to restore it, go to work items and go to recycle bin. And now I can see my payrolls that are erased when, changed when, and I want to restore them. How can I restore it? I will just select it, restore it. Are you sure you want to restore? Yes, I want. Let's go back to work items or here, here are arrows again. Don't, you don't believe me? Let me hit again. Arrows are here. So when you accidentally erase something, you can still have possibility to restore it. So be aware of next thing. When you copy an item, you can copy existing links, children, and related parent. What will be copied and what will be linked? Parent is not going to be copied. It will just keep relationship with, between the new item which is just created by copying and the old parent from all user story from which was a copy made, child or children are going to be copied as a new items. Okay? When you delete parent, you are not deleting the child. So you should delete it one by one or select it, multiple of them. And last but not least, when you delete uh, something accidentally, you, you can still restore it. Oh, it was a long one. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye.